morning. We're back here at, you can see the incline up there. Went up that yesterday. Today we're going on the Cog Railroad up to Pikes Peak. So, today won't be near as strenuous as what we had yesterday. And we get on that this morning and head up. We're here waiting to get on the train. I've been in the gift shop. There's quite a few people here this morning. A little chilly down here. It's supposed to be in the mid 30s up there. We'll be getting on the train here in just a minute. Waiting for the girls to go to the bathroom one more time. Oh, I think this is the back part of the train. So. This will be our, this one right here will be our train, I think, number three. I think, we'll have to figure that out. Yeah, we're number three right here. So we'll be getting on right here. Girls go to the bathroom one time and then we'll be headed up by speed. While I'm waiting for the girls to go to the bathroom and get on the train, I've just come out here to look at the incline one more time. You can see it right there, that little line. People going up it. Right down that way is Manitou Springs. And we'll be getting on the train here any minute. There's a look at the train from the other side. So you can really see it. It'll be a nice relaxing day. We're gonna go out and take a scenic drive loop around Colorado there, go to Cripple Creek and some of that. Which way are we? I'm looking for the down this way. You see these tall uh, wildflowers right here that look like corn stalks? They're called common mullet. Now every part of this flower can be used for health purposes. Their leaves are like velvet. So if you are ever out hiking or camping and you run out of toilet paper, you can... Yeah, it'll get cooler the higher we go. Just because we get closer to the sun doesn't mean it's going to be warmer. Down there, it looks about half dead and half alive. 
Oh, and he estimates to be about 2,203 years old now. And you might start seeing some marmots around here. Uh, they're, yeah, they, they're getting ready to go into hibernation. So some of them might already be there. Uh, also, you see the spiky plants around here. Those are the alpine thistle. Some are just leaves, and some of them, a lot of them are just dying off, and I can't really identify what they are right now. Back to the train. Also, yeah, there's no food back on the train because if you eat it on a train, motion sickness is contagious. So if you bring food back on the train, please stow it away. The only, the only thing you can bring back on the train to drink is water. Water. No hot chocolate, no coffee. There's some more sheep somewhere. There they are, it's hard to see. Alright, I'm back. Train tracks going up. See a gold mine over there in the distance. That looks like stairs. Looking for a moment. Seen one while ago. But I couldn't get it on camera. Well, we made it to the top. Looks like there's just a little bit of snow spitting out here. Ten twenty one, we've got about an hour. Mm -hmm. Yeah, snowing a little bit. We are off the train now, heading up to the main place up there. Spitting just a little bit of snow. Here where we came from. There's our train. Good day to view. There's the girls with the shorts on. But a coat. <laughs> I'm going inside here. Find a bathroom first. Well, I'm here in line. I'm going to get me a donut. They say you always got to get a donut here if you come up by its peak. Since I did the incline yesterday, I'm going to do the donut today. Donut prices, plain donuts $2.99, cinnamon sugar donuts $3.99, donuts of the day $6.99. See what that is here in a minute when I get over here. Okay, got my donuts. And there's the... Are these donuts not mine? Yeah, they're mine. Not touching these donuts. Got, got to do it if you, can, if you do the incline and come up. Pike's Peak, you gotta get a donut, so I got a donut. Okay, I ate my donuts. They were okay. First they were the cinnamon like sugar donuts. They were okay. Didn't see where I ate them. We've still got about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes before we get back on the train. We're gonna go out and take some pictures. 
get back down and then we're going to take a scenic drive around Purple Creek and it's actually called a loop. We'll look that up when we get back out and going. Out to see some more stuff. To you out here. There's our train. We've still got about nine, ten minutes. up here at the overlook take some pictures then we'll get back on the train take a picture of this map there's a complex up here this overlook and then we'll come back and get on the train head back down and we'll go for a scenic drive This is a 10 minute timer. After we got done with the Cog Railway, we decided to take uh, the Gold Belt Scenic Byway uh, Scenic Drive to Cripple Creek where we seen the Aspens changing colors. Okay, there's a good view of Cripple Creek from the top of the hill. A lot of casinos here. There's a few things back this way, and then that's pretty much it. Little old 18th century gold mining town. <laughs> 